All right. On this problem, uh, it says that find the standard form of the equation of the parabola with the vertex at the origin. So there's actually two pieces of information we know. We know that the directrix is at negative 1 and the vertex is at 0, comma 0. So the question was posed, how do we know if it's going to be have a vertical axis symmetry or horizontal axis symmetry? Well, the best thing to do it is, let's just try to graph what information we have here. Well, if the directrix is y, doesn't that mean we know it's going to be yeah. uh, a vertical? Well, we have a vertex, right? And it can either open up, up, down, left, right, right? But it says the directrix y equals negative 1. So I go down to negative 1, and right, remember the directrix, remember our standard form, when we were talking about the definition of a parabola, and I looked at something like there, I said, hey, here's the focus, here's the directrix, right? That distance, which was P, was equal to them. So therefore, if you find your directrix, your parabola is going to be opened up in the opposite direction, right? Okay. So my directrix so we know that is right here, and we have a vertex. Can the parabola open down like that? No, it's going to have to open up. Does that answer your question? And the same thing, if I would have said, oh, the focus is like right here, then you would have known you had to go up because your um, parabola is going to have to encompass your focus. Tess, could you just look up here, please? So now, since I have that formula, um, well, I'm sorry, I don't have the formula. Now I know at least what the parabola is going to look like. Now we just incorporate. So if we go back to my rules, the same thing I just go through every time. Just determine if it's vertical or horizontal. Because once you guys can determine if it's vertical or horizontal, that's going to set your path for the rest of the problem. Two, write out the standard form. So the standard form we have, so we're going to have a vertical. So that's going to be x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. All right. Now, here's the thing we need to remember. Remember I told you this value, which was P, right? The distance from your vertex to your focus, you had to add P. And then you go down here, you had to subtract P. Right? Mm -hmm. So if here, if my directrix at Y equals negative 1, and I have a vertex at 0, 0, my P value if since I had to, my p-value is now going to equal a positive 1. So I can say that my, um, well, we don't even know this, but we can just write it in there. So now we can also say that the focus, even though it doesn't ask us this, is at 0, comma 1, right? The distance from my vertex to my directrix is 0, is negative 1. Please just look. Is 0, negative 1. So therefore, the focus is going to be at 0, positive 1. No, just go. You got from here to here is negative one, right? Mm -hmm. Remember the distance that that is your distance from your vertex to your directrix is the same as the distance from your vertex oh, to yeah. your focus. Mm -hmm. But in the parabola, what we do is we add. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm adding one to get to your focus, and I'm subtracting one to get to my directrix. So therefore, I can determine that the value of p is one. Because P told us, remember, for your vertex, for your um, focus, you do your vertex or your um, your uh, k plus P. So P is equal to one. So now, ladies and gentlemen, let's just plug in the information that we have. H is your part is your x coordinate of your vertex, which is zero. Squared equals four times P is one times y minus k, the y coordinate of your vertex, which is zero. And this actually brings back to your to your question on number 11, this is how this one looks. You're to kind of, number 11 is all condensed, but if you expand it out, you can put in those zeros. Because now, we don't need to write x minus zero, it becomes x squared. Four times one is four, times y. So that's gonna be our standard form for this equation. Okay, that's it.